Hey, it's me again. I just wanted to show you a video of some of my hybrid squash that I've been working on. These are some that I did a few years ago. Uh, I planted them a few years ago, but I thought I'd plant them again this year just to see how they turn out. These are hybrids between a white squash, which looks like a vanilla ice cream scoop, cross between that and a yellow crookneck squash. And some of the variations and characteristics I, I think are pretty neat. I, I like and I just wanted to show them to you. All right, now first off, this right here, this here on the left, this is yellow crookneck squash, all right? This one is supposed to be white squash, but it looks different to me. Uh, I'll show you here in just a second, more like what it's supposed to look like. But this is one, hold on, right here. It looks to me sort of like a, uh, a white pumpkin. Actually, pumpkin is a type of squash anyway, but uh, this one here is yellow and round, it's light yellow and dark yellow striped. Uh, it's another one that looks sort of like a pumpkin. Let's see here. This one is more of an oblong shape. It's a little bitty one. Of course, it'll get bigger, probably. Sort of like one of the ones before. This one's oblong, but it's yellow and sort of striped. Now, this one here, this is more like what the uh, white squash is supposed to be. Uh, sort of. And that's these in this flower bed. Wait just a second, and I'll show you some of the ones in one of my other flower beds. Okay, I said another flower bed, uh, my mistake. These are actually in pots. Squash, for me, does fairly well in pots. I never really have much trouble out of them. This right here, there's one. It looks sort of like white squash. Here's two side by side. You can kind of see the, the difference in variation amongst them. That naturally looks sort of like an acorn squash, in a way. And it was sort of oblong. Uh, I, I really like this one. This is a, it's green striped. Now that's that's weird. It, it looks almost like it had zucchini crossed with it, which squash from what I've read up on them, they cross fairly easily. Uh, so it could have got pollinated with a zucchini uh, without me knowing about it. Let's see. Here's another one. It's just solid green. And this one here. Now this, on the leaves right here, the leaves, they look sort of abnormal. I'm not sure exactly what that is. It, it may be a, a virus, like cucumber mosaic virus. I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, this is the fruit on this one. And that's all my hybrid squash that I have currently. One other thing I did want to note is that squash, if you, if anyone wants to breed squash, there are monoecious plants, which means that they have male flowers and female flowers on the same plant. Uh, it's very important you would want to wait until the day before they open, which they have sort of turning sort of yellow like that. And you pinch them closed, you put a little piece of electrician's tape on them. Uh, you'd find some male flowers and do that too, and then you'd find some female flowers and do that too, and you cross them. And I can show in another video exactly uh, how to do that. But while I'm here, if I could find a, this is a male flower. There's no fruit behind it. And over here, like I showed you earlier, is a female flower. This one right here. It actually has the fruit behind it. That's how you can tell the difference. It will make the fruit actually before it pollinates. If it doesn't get pollinated, the fruit will just die and fall off. If it gets pollinated, it will begin to grow. Like I said, that's another video. But uh, that's that's pretty much them for now. Uh, I guess that's it.